Hi, my name is Bill Souza. I'm a volunteer at the uh, Willows Senior Center. Uh, Senior Center is uh, located in Lincoln Avenue. We'll talk more about that later. But uh, we're sponsored by a nonprofit organization called SeniorNet. And learning centers are put in place so that we can bring computers to seniors 50 and over. So at locally, we have volunteers who support the program, teach various classes, and I'll be covering one of the classes, which is a file management class that says, where is my stuff? What did I do with it? How could I find it? And how do I get to it? One of the more important things that you'll learn as you work with computers is the fact that you're going to work with folders and files and subfolders. And if we look at the screen, what we're talking about is a series of relationships between documents, which are files, and folders and subfolders, which we put the documents in. Similar to what you're used to working with when you work with filing drawer cabinets, and two drawer cabinets, five drawer cabinets, where you'd set up folders within those cabinets, then you had to remember which drawer, which cabinet to go in. In a computer, we replace the cabinets with a hard disk. And this hard disk is located within your computer. And what the process is, is that we'll start with a folder that is a prime folder and in it can be some files or documents. Documents can be a letter, or it could be a spreadsheet, various other types of individual documents. And then we can put a folder within that folder or file it. We call that a subfolder. And we also could have a subfolder within that. So each of these then can contain not only folders but a subfolder and files. The object of what we have got to learn then is how to control those and then how to work through it in an area that you understand and create called a file structure. There's another area that we will be working with and these are called jump drives. It's a transportable drive that allows you to take information from the center, put it on there, take it home and use it. So what we'll be looking at is the Explorer, which is part of the Windows. And as you can see on the left-hand side, here are folders. And these folders, these are a prime folder, which is my computer. Within that are subfolders, and within these are subfolders in addition. So the, tri the process then is to understand how to relate these and where do I put my files. One of the things that you learn how to do is to create a subfolder and we can do it one of two ways by clicking the file menu, new and folder and then once we get this we type in and we'll call this one letters and we'll click on letters which created a folder that we now can set up to file. So what I want to do then is create a couple of subfolders within that so the first thing you have to do is open letters and then go back to file and new folder again and click on folder and this time we'll call it children and click on that and then we'll create one more this time I'm going to use the right mouse save a little bit of time go down to new folder and was we'll called that uh, ants Aunts, I guess we can say. So now what we've done is we have a folder that is called letters and within it we have two subfolders. So if you create a letter to one of your children, the object is once you've created it, get it ready to print, you want to store it somewhere, you want to put it in this folder. So <clears throat> we will show you then how to create a document, how to put it in a folder, and then go back and find it. Okay, as a summary, we'll find that uh, at the Senior Center, which is located on Lincoln Avenue, courses are eight weeks in duration or four weeks in duration, depending on the course itself. Uh, they're two hours per week, one day a week, and depending on instructors, we'll dictate which day we have the course. Each student operates their own computer. 
your cost for a class, an eight week class is $20, a four week class 15, and you do have to join our parent organization, which is SeniorNet, and you get a one year membership for $40 as a new member and a $30 renewal fee. Uh, the program is available to seniors, 50 and over, but we don't check IDs, so if you uh, are not quite there, we'll invite you to come anyway. And as I said before, we're located on Lincoln Avenue. And if you're online, you can get us at snlcsj.org slash willows. And that'll bring you right to our website and give you all the information that you need.